Mike, how are you doing? Uh, we'll take an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll take questions. Yeah, thanks for everybody for coming today. Just want to start off before we get started here, just thanking the Mangiuelli family for um, the, the scholarship there for the goaltender position. Awesome uh, donation from Yano and his wife uh, just to support our team, support our program, and obviously pretty neat to, to have the goalie position scholarship now. So I want to thank with that. We're looking forward to hitting the road here tomorrow for ASU and uh, looking to forward to heading into our second uh, second weekend of conference play here and uh and uh, play a good ASU team. Any questions for Jacob? What's it going to take to get the Mavs back on the winning track this weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think I think we're right there. If you look at if you look back at last year, we had a lot of one goal games. It's same same story again this year. And uh, I mean, l luckily last year we were on the good side of them. I think this year we're just a couple details away from from being on the good side again. So just keep working and practice and. I'm really confident we're going to get back on track. The team excited to go to Arizona, especially looking at the weather today? Yeah, I mean, especially today on Holland, it was a little rainy outside, so it'll be nice to go in the nice weather for sure. There's a, a learning curve, especially when you get this conference, Jacob. I think I heard one of the freshmen saying, uh, kind of coming out of the building the other night, that uh, just one little thing, uh, maybe I'm going to stay here or there, that, that puck's in the, in the back of your back of your net. So uh, how, how are the, those younger players uh, coming along in your view uh, and now getting used to the National Collegiate Hockey Conference? What a baptism against the good Western team. Yeah, I think our freshmen are doing really good. I think you, you see it in practice. They all work really hard, and that's why like they're they're getting back to the level pretty quick. So, yeah, no, they're doing a great job. Any more questions for Jacob? Okay, you're good to go. Perfect. Right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like Jacob says, just tough pills to swallow here to, to start the season. There, you're you're right there, but you're not there, and and uh, having a couple of crucial mistakes at key moments in games that are resulting in in the losses and the one goal losses. So those are things. Uh, again, you don't want to go through it, but sometimes you do, and that's when you grow. And so we got to keep learning from these situations there and keep making improvements. So that's our focus this week. Got to keep getting back up and keep showing up and be resilient here and find ways to get better. Yeah, a couple of really good grade eight chances to capitalize on, and we're just not finishing right now for, you know, to allow ourselves that maybe one or two mistakes that are going to happen in the game um, that gives you a little bit of breathing room kind of thing right now. We're, we're not capitalizing those, and then um, they're making us pay for our one or two critical mistakes in the game there. So um, the good news is, like Jacob said, there's some positive things to the game that uh, we can see the growth in. You can see some. Um, production in that are trending the right direction there but now it's about doing that consistently and and making the right decision in those key moments to allow ourselves a chance to continued success here. Mike talk about Arizona State and uh, you know, coming off a good series against Colorado College. Yeah you could tell they were up three, I think three, three to one there against CC and and obviously outshot them there and and lots of talent on their roster so Again, another tough competition here. They're they're going to be hungry to to have a good weekend as well here. So uh, we know what we're getting ourselves into here, and got to be ready to go. You mentioned uh, missing just a couple of grade A chances, and that being the difference between winning a game and having a lot of pressure at the other end mm -hmm. of the ring. How uh, have you thought about maybe um, giving Simon a break? Mm -hmm. Just just from a mental standpoint, mm -hmm. because if you don't convert those, he's got to be even uh, more up on his toes the other end. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully this weekend we can get Kevin into a game here, and he's been working really hard um, throughout the training camp and practice here. And and as Jacob said too, we also want our young guys to have success when we get in when they get in there. And I think uh, confidence is earned. And I think where he was at, you know, three weeks ago, I don't think he's ready to go. But I think he's now earned that opportunity to play here just by the way he's been practicing and the consistency and the work ethic that needs to take place in order to be successful at this level. And so really great kid, man. He he knows where he's at and what he's got to work on. And he's been getting to work. And, and I think he's going to get a chance this weekend here to play. Mike, on top of everything else, do you kind of get the feeling that Arizona State is the new kids on the block are going to kind of want to show 
show everybody what they can do. Yeah, I think they've been, um, you know, they've they've had some success in the past with their program there, and and obviously recruiting to ASU is is going well for them there to to get some talent there and and some good quality hockey players there. So I think they're they're hungry to uh, be in a conference now and show up and do well. So um, you know, just like any weekend we prepare for here, we know uh, we got to be ready to go. It's a, a, it certainly makes it tougher, but uh, in the ever changing face of college hockey and realignments and intercollegiate sports overall, how good is it to have them uh, uh, in, in this conference, uh, how important was it to, uh, to get them in and add them to the NCAC? Yeah, as a head coach, you don't want more teams in your conference because it's uh, less chance to make the NCAA tournament. But but as a league and a conference, and, and they're going to be our travel partner now, I think it's a great for our community to bring them into our rink every every season. They're going to be here playing us, and we're going to be going there. And and obviously, they're a power four you know power four program there that, that has lots of brand recognition with it there. So again, it's it, at the end of the day, the conference is really strong, and we got a lot of good teams in this conference, which is good for I think the state of the NCAA in, in this current landscape. I think to be in a strong conference is always a positive. Mike, can you give us an update on Tanner and maybe anybody else who might not be in action this weekend? Yeah, unfortunately, when it rains, it pours right now. We've got uh, uh, a lot of players out right now with injury. Obviously, Tanner's out for the season. Um, we had uh, surgery there um, last week there, so he'll be, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe at the very end of the season he'd be capable of coming back. And well, that's a tough loss, losing your leading score from last season, but opportunity for other guys. And Garrett Pinanimi, um, who was on the first line there with Tanner there at the start of the season, he's out as well. I'm still battling an injury as well there too. And then Liam Watkins is still out. Aiden Gallagher is coming close to return to play here. And then we have uh, Miles Hillman and... Uh, Alexi Van Hukenchero, who are also out currently right now with injuries there. So I think we'll be almost dressing everybody up front that's healthy to play. But, uh, hey, that's that's what they sign up for. That's an opportunity. And, and uh, you know, some of these guys are going to get a chance to play a little bit more than they, they have at the previous start of the season here. Does Simon ever play forward? <laughs> yeah. No, I think we'll leave Simon in, in the net there. Uh, he's too good to take out of there. So we'll leave him, we'll leave him back in the net. Yeah. The other night at the, in the Saturday game, he, his job was to try and get going, get those shots on goal. Yeah. He was, he was firing away. Wasn't yeah, great, great job by him. And I think that's probably his number one strength is shooting the puck. And so um, I thought it was a little nice little spark for the power play there to, to get him out there and has a heavy shot. And anytime you have a heavy shot like that, usually there's a secondary opportunity, which was exactly that. So um, good for him to, to get in there and do a great job. Thanks, Okay, thank you. Thanks.